The necktie problem is the gambler's version of the two envelope paradox. Serenity, your tie looks amazing. It must be really expensive. This old thing? No way. Yours looks way more expensive than mine. Tell you what, let's make it interesting. If your tie costs more, you give it to me. If my tie costs more, I'll give mine to you. A bet, you're on. Poor innocent serenity. See, if I lose, I lose the cheap tie. But if I win, I win an expensive tie. I'm risking a cheap thing to win an expensive thing. This bet is the biggest mistake in Serenity's nine lives. If my tie costs $20 and his tie is only $10, I'll lose my $20 tie. But if his tie is $40, I'll win a $40 tie. I can't lose. Wait, why do you look so confident? This bet can't be in both our favor. It's a zero-sum game. Now, normally, for gambling problems, anything with probability, plugging in numbers is usually a great way to develop some intuition. So it seems like Serenity's approach should work. If she knows her tie is $20, and if his is 10, she loses the 20, and if Indiana's is 40, she wins 40, so she's risking 20 to win 40. This seems like a good way to understand most probability problems, but in this case, it actually is what leads to the paradox. And the resolution is to recognize that there aren't three prices in this scenario because the cats are only wearing two different ties. There should only be two numbers in the equation. So in this problem, it's actually easier to, to remain in terms of the variables themselves. So let's say Serenity's tie is S dollars and Indiana's tie is I dollars. Then from Serenity's perspective, she is risking losing S in order to win I. And if either of those possibilities are, are both a 50-50 chance, then her expected value is gonna be I minus S over two. It's basically half of the difference between their two values. And from Indiana's perspective, his expected value is S minus I divided by two. Again, with each possibility happening 50% of the time. And if you see that now by only treating it as if there are two possible outcomes, right? Two possible tie values, both of their analyses are symmetrical to each other. And if you add together their expected values, they add to zero, which of course they have to because this is a zero sum game. Every zero sum game, the expected value of all players should add to zero. So the big question then, who won the bet? All night, check, check, check. He trapped me. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. Never go against a tabby when neckties are on the line. It's Schrodinger's stupid tie. I both win and lose at the same time. I told you, Serenity, I'm not just curious, I'm curious and stylish. You look ridiculous. Ridiculously wealthy?